So that's the status of the middle school. The high school. Can I stop here? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, just for clarification, um, and I want this to be on public record. We are going to open school on time, and we are going to have our students in a safe environment for education, correct? Yes, there's no indication of that. Uh, I just want to make it very clear to the public that that is going to be the case. I've heard out in the community, I've heard rumors that our teachers are being asked to come back two weeks later. I've heard this and I've heard that. Yes. I, I, I just want to make it very clear that our school is going to be operationally safe for our students on September 4th when the school starts. That's clearly the goal. Um, there are some backup plans, some life safety issues are in risk mm -hmm. um, that we've talked about. So yeah, the school should start on. And I want to thank you guys for getting us to this point because I know it's it's been uh, it's accelerated and, and, and very uh, rigorous process, and, and it's uh, it's it's keeping us on schedule and on plan, and uh, that, that's that was the goal, and that's where we're at. And I, I appreciate that. But I just wanted to make sure that you you were on the same page as I am. That's where we're at. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Standing here, so we go Thank you. <laughs> There's no plan for an extended summer vacation. No. <laughs> Sorry, Sally. <laughs> 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 so the high school. Actually, Chase, I'm yes. Sorry to interrupt. Can I just ask a couple quick follow-up sure. questions? On so your reference to the backup plans, just for my understanding, what would those be related to? It, it depends on the issue. Um, Clearly, it's life safety, for example, the fire alarm wasn't operational. You may have to implement a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week fire watch, um, which has since you hire a company or somebody to basically be in your building to look for fires. That's a lot of the district's expense. Good contract expense. Thank you. Yeah, right, <laughs> that was the next one. Right, right, thank you. Yeah. You read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, in terms of uh, the building opening uh, for the students. So I know there was previous talk about like addressing punch list items perhaps in the evenings and so forth. Is that still on the table based on where you guys are now in time? Right now we just had a meeting with IKM and DC and we've scheduled IKM to perform some punch lists starting next week, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So clearly we'll have to coexist why you guys start to move in and try to do some punch lists at the same time. If that comes to cumbersome, we push them to second shift. Got it. And so then the goal is all the punch list stuff should be completed at the same time the moving in is completed it, at which time the kids are coming. As much as possible, yes. yes. Uh, I will tell you, it is typical. It, it can lag in the school year. Um, but most of the time, those are touch up painting kind of things, nothing substantial but would affect the daily operations of the school. And also be clear on that. That's all at the contractors expense. It's all contractors. If they're working second shift or they're working third shift, that's part of their that's, that's part of their due diligence. Part of their due diligence, correct. Thank you.